hi viewers so today we are here to uh, uh, differentiate our xml uh, document and the x document so normally what is xml document and x document both are used to um, build the xml uh, file so uh, we will see the difference today so uh, if you are using your dotnet framework uh, 3.0 and less so you must go and use the uh, x document to create so this is a classical uh, doom um, api to build the xml so this is the one mm, uh, it's uh, bring from the uh, xml uh, lin queue so <coughs> normally from the xml you will get the library you get that uh, from the xml uh, lin queue you will get this so we'll see the difference now so uh, if i want to build with the xml document i need to uh, set the root directory mm, and i need to set the attribute name and value and uh, in the child i need to uh, uh, set the uh, create the child node of the name uh, and uh, i need to pass the uh, text of that and i need to open to the root so this uh, this is a process of xml uh, document if i go with the x document mm, with a, a parameter only i can define that new element x element x term x element root under the root i will create a uh, one uh, node under that node uh, this is the attribute node and under the attribute i will create a one element called child and the text node so here what i did i just created the root node and i go went and set the attribute name and the value that name uh, i uh, give us a, um, a text node and the value that i am appending over there so but here it's very simple process in a one line of code I can create my document and uh, I set a common element that will create me the element uh, node and uh, on the element mm, I will set that attribute uh, one is a name and one is a value that uh, name and value I, I push this child so let me uh, run this and uh, uh, we'll check it out so console dot right line doc and uh, next line document So main uh, difference between this is uh, if you use the X document uh, uh, with the link you, you can easily uh, develop and it is a recommended one from my side as well. So it is not uh, much complicated by building uh, with the X document. So if uh, using the older version you can go ahead and use uh, stuffs. So if you see here. So. Uh, so. Uh, if I try to assess my XML document, it will show that it's a totally an XML document. But here, how it is built, uh, this uh, document called uh, root and the n uh, name of my parent, and uh, for that I have set the value and the child node, uh, the child and the text uh, node is text. But here it will uh, return me the totally an XML. So that you can uh, keep the breakpoint and you can see because uh, this version it won't uh, uh, give me like uh, a written file it's uh, throw me a document file only oops uh, sorry okay my uh, now uh, my root got created uh, so i need to define my root here and then i need to for the root i need to set the attribute name and uh, for that value value and uh, child i need to create separately an xml element and uh, for the child i need to set the inner text and finally child i need to open to the root and uh, that root i need to finally bind to the document yeah so now if you go and expand the document you can see all the stuffs so
yeah so it will uh, finally build like this so uh, now I think you have got an idea which one you need to prefer and use it so for the older version obviously you need to use the XML document to build but now uh, with the link you can easily build you can create only X document under that you can create the element uh, for that element you can set a uh, attribute uh, and attribute a name and for the value and uh, you can add uh, one more element uh, that will cause a uh, child node so if I remove this one you can get a clear picture so what are the parameter it accepting you can check so x uh, document it will accept and the params accept x declarations so we used uh, uh, params uh, to define the stuffs thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries just comment us this is just a tutorial uh, to uh, differentiate x document and uh, mm, x element how we are building what is the complication between both which one uh, have the time reduction obviously i will recommend you to go with the x document instead of going xml with because this is a world classical api thanks for watching the video guys